Uh, hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining about how to do an automatic traffic light control using an NI Multisim as well as Keel. In my previous video I have already explained about how to link uh, Multisim as well as Keel. Uh, in this video I have uh, done a hardware circuitry again in Multisim and I have coded in Keel. So let's start uh, with the hardware circuitry of traffic light controller. So here I use a simple uh, controller that is 8051. So to place a component, I go for place, then component, then I go for under group, I go for MCU, 805X and the basic 8051 controller. I click on OK. Then after that, I give a workspace name uh, for the controller. I give it as um, TLC, that is traffic light controller. Then I go for next. Under the project type, I have to select whether it is an external hex file or the standard file what I am writing in the same NI Multisim. Since I am writing the code in uh, Keel, uh, what I do is that I import the hex file uh, from there uh, to Multisim. So I click on external hex file. Then I go for the project name. Again, you can uh, write it as uh, traffic light controller 1. Then next, then create an empty project. Then we will go for finish. So I have placed microcontroller. Now my next job is to place uh, the uh, traffic lights that is red, yellow, sorry, red, orange as well as green. So for that I go for play group and indicators. Under indicators I have something called as probe. Under probe I will place uh, all the three probes that is red, then it is orange and the another one is green. Next. Uh, after each uh, light gets shifted, that is from uh, red to green, green to orange, orange to red, I need a time gap uh, and to display that time, I use one more that is a hex display. Under hex display, I select any one and uh, I place it somewhere over here. If it is a two digit, then again I take one more, uh, this one hex display and I place it somewhere over here. Now, uh, the main thing is uh, to power up the controller, to power up the controller, Again, I have to place the source, then under sources of play, uh, selecting the component, I'll place VCC as well as ground. I'll go for VCC, I'll place it somewhere over here, hidden pins are using, okay. Then I have ground and place somewhere over here. Then I have to connect it. place over here u3 u3 is a msb over here and u2 is a lsb so i'll connect u2 port 1 i'm connecting all the pins to port 1 so your u2 u2 is capable of displaying the number starting from 0 to f similarly u3 will display the values from 0 to f but I don't need those displays. I need a decimal display rather than a hex. Let us see how it is converted in uh, the coding. So I'll connect all the, uh, the pins of the hex display to the corresponding pins of the controller. I connect the VCC and then I connect ground of the controller. Then now here I connect uh, the probes to the corresponding P0.0, P0.1 and p naught dot 2 over here so i have connected these three probes green orange as well as red to the corresponding p naught and p1 to the display now let us see how the coding over here works i have a traffic uh, light controller code which is already written in keel as we know that I need a display. Say for example, in a hex it can go up till 9. After 9 it comes as A, B, C and D and so on. But I don't need A, B, C, D in the display what I have given over here. I need after 9, I need 10, 11, 12 and so on which means that I have to convert this hexadecimal to decimal conversion I have to do and then I have to give it to the corresponding port P1. Now how do we do? Now let us see in this, I have a calculator wherein I give a number, let me say that uh, B, B corresponds to 11 in decimal, so let us see, I give B, B corresponds to decimal 11. Now if I divide this 11 by 10, so when I divide 11 by 10, the quotient is 1, remainder is 1, 
or let me consider another simple example that is C when I give C decimal equivalent of C is 12 when I divide it by 10 the quotient is 1 remainder is 2 thereby I can separate these two numbers that is a lower nibble uh, that is 2 and the higher nibble that is 1 and I can display it in uh, the display what I have given in multisim so how do I do that even in hex it remains the same I divide the corresponding number by 10 but in hex 10 is nothing but a so whatever number is displayed in hex if it is greater than 9 I divide it by a so that I can get a quotient as well as I can get the reminder once I get the quotient as well as a reminder then let us see in the code what what has to be done over here so over here I have written in the let us come to the main program while 1 p0 is equal to 0 cross 0 4 0 x 0 4 which means that your uh, uh, if I am considering p0 the third bit of p0 becomes equal to 1 what is the third bit which is being connected in the controller that is a green that is p0.2 that is a green uh, light which is on so if I am giving it as 1 the probe will be on so it will be 1 next if I am giving this which means that if I am giving as orange then it is p0 is equal to 0 cross 0 2 which means that the first bit of p0 I am making it as 1 if I am giving p0 as 0 x 0 1 which means that the zeroth bit or you know the first bit of um, you know the port 0 is given as high so that is the meaning of it the corresponding green orange as well as yellow so this is uh, orange which is on and this is red which is red light which is on now what is the delay which has to occur delay depends upon the number what we give uh, normally we see that it gives a gap of 60 seconds but here uh, I have not given that count I have given a lesser count now let us uh, call a delay function when I call a delay function I go to int as I have already told about you know separating the lower nibble and higher nibble I have given a variable q which uh, means quotient r is reminder and a count to keep on counting then int i is equal to 0 to introduce a small delay because if I don't introduce delay the skipping of the numbers we cannot identify that then I initialize p1 as 0 then while count is less than 0x17 which means that in hexadecimal if it is a 17 so what is a decimal equivalent I keep 17 in hexa so the corresponding decimal number is 23 which means that I am giving a gap of you know 23 counts so that is a decimal equivalent of 17 so that is what I have written over here so when count is less than 17 H or it is 23 in decimal which means that your traffic light has to count till 22 count less than starting from 0 till 22 it has to count now if the count is lesser than 9 it's a normal number which is getting counted so I give else if count is not greater than 9 P1 as equal to count which means that whatever the count 0 to 9 is there it will directly go to P1 and it will be correspondingly displayed as binary in P1 and I have given a small delay to keep that number and then I increment the count the moment uh, the count goes above 9 let me say that I will consider one simple example I will consider a number as the same I will consider the number as 1 2 in hex the corresponding decimal is 18 so now I have to display this 18 on to uh, you know the display how do I separate 18 divided by 10 I have to take the quotient I have to take the reminder so the same way what I have to do over here is I have to take see when I take 18 when I divide it by 10 the quotient is 1 the remainder is 8 so the same in a hex it is 12 when I divide 12 by a a is nothing but 10 so you will get the quotient as 1 which is required as uh, in decimal so 1 and when I take the mod let me consider the remainder of that 12 mod a I'll get as 8 so 1 and 8 I'm getting now I have to combine this 1 and 8 18 and I have to display so now let us consider a simple example wherein the count has increased I have to display 18 your count is a 12 in hex 
12 is nothing but 1, 2 is nothing but 18. So 12 greater than 9, yes, it will give me a reminder, it will give me a quotient. So I will do it over here. I'll 12 mod a will give me 8, which will be stored in R. 12 by a, 12 divided by a, which will give me 1, that is a quotient. Q will be equal to 1, R will be equal to 8. So now what I have to do over here is now 1 I have to push it to MSB uh, or uh, the higher uh, nipple and 8 I have to keep it in the lower nipple. How do I do that? Quotient whatever is obtained I want an 8 bit number so I and it with the 0x0f. Zero when I and it with the 0x0f, the lower nibble remains the same, that is whatever is there in the quotient and the higher nibble will be nothing but appended with zeros. So it will be 0000, 0, 0, 0 and then it will be 0, 0, 0, 0001 because the quotient is 1. After that what I, I am performing, I am shifting it by 4. When I am shifting it by 4 to and it is left shift which means that the 0001 will now shift left by 4 bits. So it will be 0001000 which is nothing but equal to 10. Now I or that 10 with whatever the remainder I have got again I have to get an 8 bit. So again I end it with the 0x0f. So the remainder is 8 that is 1000. I end it with 0x0f I get it as 0001000. Now when I do 1 uh, 10 or with 8 I will uh, 10 or with 0 8 that is 1 0 or with 0 8 I will get it as 1 8 so thereby 1 8 will directly go to P1 so that is how the conversion of uh, you know uh, hexadecimal to decimal is taking place now suppose if there are three digits then for three digits I have to again go for successive division so this is how you know the entire uh, the conversion of hexadecimal to decimal is taking place over here so now let us see how does it work over here in the controller I have to uh, first build the target over here if there is any error you will get and again, please note that your hex file has to be generated whenever after you compile. So go for options target 1 in that the third tab that is output your create hex file should be ticked. Once you click OK, then what you have to do over here is build all the target and you need to get uh, creating something called as creating hex file of traffic light. Now let us go to this design uh, in the multisim, double click on this. Then we'll go for code, which code it has to give, properties, then TLC1, which is the project name what we have created, then what is the hex file you have to give, I'll browse this and I'll go for a traffic light dot hex, then I click on OK, then OK, then I'll run this. So initially green is on. Your counter will keep um, counting 5. After 9, I don't get A. I will get it as 10, 13, 14, 15, till 22 it has to count and it has to switch over from green to orange. Now it has switched over from green to orange. Again, it keeps on counting till 22. Again, it will keeps on. Uh, uh, it will keep shifting to red and this process will continue. So this is how you code uh, you know a traffic light controller uh, using multisim and you uh, link it with key. So this is how the process goes on. I hope you have liked this video. If you like please share subscribe to my channel. Thank you.